morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Deja I am a new homeschooling mom of three kids if you're not new here hey welcome back um, yes I look the same as my last video because I'm just filming all my curriculum videos right now while my husband's downstairs with the kids <laughs> so today's video I'm so excited for because my oldest is in well going into first grade so um, this is where all the real work starts and not like the just busy work and workbooks. So I am excited to jump in and show you guys what I got him for his 22-23 school year for a first grader. So I will start with his language arts. So of course, um, you know, I feel like it's not that I want to copy the trend because I swear that's not my intention. But before I jump in, I do want to say that we did go with the good and the beautiful. But I think even by second grade, I probably won't use them depending on how he likes it. But I already have found another curriculum that I think will probably work better for his learning style. So, um, and, and then like I said, I do see a lot of people who end up not liking the good and the beautiful or not. <clears throat> not per se not liking but stop using the good and beautiful it just as they get older i think it like grows out of like i think it's just better for the little stages i have seen homeschooling moms that use it for older grades too so i don't know it just depends on how my son likes it i just feel like i saw another curriculum that might just be he just likes to get to the point like no fluff no extra stories to confuse him about what you just just give me the question so I can answer it. So I found a curriculum that's like that. So we'll see how this goes. Who knows? It might switch in the middle of the school year. But we did go with the new version of the Good and the Beautiful's Literature and Language Arts. Um, level 1. This is the new version that just dropped um, this week? Last week? I don't even know. So um, like I said, I... I I feel like there's a lot of extra like reading stuff that my son's just more of like what do I have to do fill in the blank write the sentence okay tell me what I have to write <laughs> like he doesn't like all the extra stories and then do your uh, worksheet around the story we just did like he just wants questions and be able to answer them but I think for now this will be a good start to ease our way into the school year because right now he's He's not really excited for school. Um, I just, just don't think he likes school because of the idea he already has gotten from public school. So he's like, no school, no. So it's been a battle. But um, we do have this and it comes with the reading booster cards, which it's like... Um, their sight words and just building up your phonics pretty much that's like what this phonics cards uh, for that grade level as you keep reading along quick little flip through um, but I am excited I have gone through it and I think um, I think it'll be good for him and then it does come with the reading booster B books and at first I was like oh no you know looking at these little books um i just initially thought of like the five five word sentence and i started freaking out because i'm like oh, this is gonna be way too easy for him um there you go it's kind of bright but you know just little senses like this i can't because he was reading these things when he was two so it's hard because i was started panicking but then i went to the last book book 20 and then they start getting into you know multiple sentences there we go sentences and I was like okay good it gets hard because if it's boring and too easy that's when he's like checked out from school but I look at it and I think everything looks really good um like I said I don't know if we'll stick to it for the whole year I hope we do but um in case we don't i do have a supplement um that we will be adding with that and that is a becca and i got these because well one i wasn't i didn't want to go ahead and 
get the whole student kit because it was just for the price i'm like it just it didn't add up in my head but i got these and i thought they were really really good even though they're not like a full curriculum um but i just thought this was so i feel like my son will like this like i said it's not any fluff there's no like five paragraphs you have to read to do six questions like this is just fill in the blank answer the questions which one matches which and i thought that was really good for him on just doing that um short but focused type of work instead of making it long and you know jam packing him with information um and then i did need to get a supplement because i have not homeschooled but when king would have to go home sick from public school i would still do school work with him and we did have a couple of uh kindergarten uh the good and the beautiful curriculum already and uh, there are so many times that i worked with him on some lessons and we would do like seven lessons and i just thought like this is why he's bored at school <laughs> because how does he do this so fast so i figured doing a lesson or two on the good and the beautiful and then throwing it in some of these worksheets would be good for him um and i think he can handle it i don't think it'll be like too much for him to just go ahead because like i said he'll just do the work and then go okay what's next and this one actually it wasn't it was this one but this one's letter sounds and i thought this was good because you know just to build up our spelling uh which is something i really want to work on with him this is spelling but i thought these were really really good i can't remember the name of the channel who hyped me up to get it so i'm gonna look her up because um it was the practical homeschooler and i seen her do a day in the life school life um with her daughter and her daughter did so well with these and enjoyed it and i thought king would too and yeah i'm just excited for this abeka i think abeka is probably gonna be more of his wheelhouse when it comes to the good of the beautiful or the abeka i think these would be more of just like yes I can do 10 pages and be done because he will go through these also super fast because it is pretty easy work for him um because he knows like he's already um he'll be going into first grade but he already reads a grade level ahead so i think it would just uh, work well to just blend everything together to give him entertainment in his school day because i just don't want him to be bored that's that's our goal so uh as i said i did one work on spelling so i got this i can't remember who said um who said this but i actually had this in my cart before i saw the video of another mom talking about it and when she mentioned it she said how much she loved it and how helpful it was i was like yep i'm gonna get that and i agree i think this will be helpful to just spelling and just like letters like you know knowing how to write your letters properly and not everything all capitalized or big which he needs to work on so yeah it's just spelling and i think it's pretty good um for his grade level um like i said king knows like such big words already so it might be a little easy but it's still good practice then i got him also a handwriting level one from the good and the beautiful and i mean there's not much that goes into this besides copying pretty simple words numbers letters and short sentences um so that's for that okay so for math um we did again we went with the good and the beautiful and abeka so we do have the good and the beautiful i did go ahead and print this out because um why not it's free so I did print this out um and even just a side note to save money i'll probably make a whole other video on this but um if you just already have math manipulatives or you don't care to use the ones that they give you you can just purchase the math workbook and it's only 20 dollars or 22 dollars instead of spending 70 dollars um so i already had purchased off of amazon a giant bag of manipulatives that cost 
less than buying the curriculum together. So I went ahead and printed the curriculum for free. And I, you know, it's the same, nothing's missing. I went ahead here and um, just printed that out because like I said, I have already, um, I've already got curriculums. I went ahead and got a printer to print um, front and back. So everything will be just like the workbook. Um, which I'm excited for this, I think, Again, I think there's a lot of fluff in here that is like, can you just tell me what numbers I need to add together? <laughs> so, um, I think math was the hardest thing to pick out for a curriculum, so I wanted to do because I did see the dimensions, and I thought that was really interesting, and I thought King would probably pick up on that, but I think maybe at an older school level when he's kind of more caught up and he knows how to handle his thoughts in his head, and he's not... So distracted but um, again Abeka just seems to be like the go-to not the go-to but I feel like it's so simple for him I think he will understand I think again these are like worksheets that I think he'll be able to do with no problem he's really good with math and numbers so this is Abeka's arithmetic one um, again I think the practical homeschooler I've seen her use this multiple school years and I have nothing but great things to say about it. So um, I think this is nice. It's colorful, but it's still just straight to the point. Um, so I think this will be good for our homeschool. So those are what we are using for my first graders, language arts and math. <laughs> and I did if you guys haven't already seen, I did post a video, which I will link below, that is like our family subjects, which would be like history, geography, science, if you guys want to go see what we, will be, what we will be using for those subjects. And I do have two things I wanted to share with you guys that I will be using uh, with King and my preschooler, but mainly for King. Um, and that is this, um, the big box of sentence building. Um, and I thought this was super cool um, for King because he does have, if you guys know anything about any of the videos I posted um, and your OG uh, subscriber, you would know that King has autism and he is a full functioning autistic boy. He is super smart and gifted academically. That's not an issue. It's our communication where we have um, a hard time. And so I thought this was good because he's learned, he's been talking so much more, but I feel like he needs more um, help with structuring a full sentence. So I thought these cards would be great to help him uh, learn how to just build a full sentence, not pizza, 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 eat pizza. Like he can say, like, I want to eat pizza. Um, so I thought that this, I'm, I'm actually really excited to start using these with him um and then another thing which kind of is in that same boat is um sequencing cards so comes in a box and all of each color is like different scenarios so let's see one of them let's say like one of them is planting flowers and there's six cards and it just has pictures of sequences and you just organize them like first we would put our clothes on put our boots on put our gloves on then we will go to the garden then we will water them and i think that'll be great because he does need um uh, i think that'll just be help him build his i don't want to say storytelling but just being able to recite something back to us um and just building that um like just building his mind to just think of what's happening and what's going on and then being able to tell us what's going on um so i thought this was cool and these were um for like a lot of what does it say it does say with a uh, helps with language development and it's for uh teachers and therapists and parents of course but i, I want to say i got this when i was like looking up stuff for autism and like special needs it is for ages four and up um, I do think this is kind of easy. There's like a A box and a B box, and I kind of wish I got the B box, but 
it's okay because we're learning but it comes with one two three four five six seven eight different uh scenarios and here's some of them if you want to take a look and yeah they're called spark innovations and i thought they were really cool when i saw them i thought he would probably like putting them together and organizing them because he's into that um so yeah that's that's our first grade math and language arts curriculums so that we'll be using for this year which basically is the good and the beautiful and a becca and we will see if they make it through the whole school year if not i already have another one in mind that i will be trying next if not we'll just wait for second grade but um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are preparing for your new school year if not you're probably just ending your school year and getting ready for some summer break which enjoy it because i've enjoyed my summer break but i'm ready to start school maybe it's because i'm a first time homeschooling mom that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you are ready to buy some new curriculum for the next school year don't forget to subscribe i will be bringing up some more videos coming soon um and i can't wait to share with you guys and keep bringing you guys along on this journey of my first year of homeschooling i will see you guys in the next video bye